Standing by for the music. You can count first. again. Standing by. Tyler in three, two. Tyler now uh, four wins in the last five. As you all wanted to and were patient with you knew this would come at a certain point. You do it also with not a lot of continuity with the lineup, particularly back and forth. What do you like most about this last stretch? Um, I thought we uh, came out really, just came out hard uh, tonight. We came out really hard. Um, from the starting five to the bench unit, I thought there was no drop off. I thought the second unit came in and just took it up another level. And when the starters came back in, we kind of were able to make the run from there. Um, obviously, with the lead in the second half, they, they cut the deficit as, as any good team does in this league. Um, but to, to respond the way we did and, and finish the game and get the win on the road against a good team who's also desperate for some wins. It's, it's, it's really cool. And per usual, you have to do it with some defense, uh, holding the Clippers under 20 points in that fourth quarter. What do you like most about the performance there? Uh, I mean, that's the way we win games is on the defensive end. Um, again, Victor on the depot was a menace on defense. You know, that's what he does. And, um, Top of that zone, he really caused a lot of turnovers and just a tough job. It's not easy to get into your offense with big on, on the ball. So we'll talk about the connection between you and Bam, and we've talked about it all season, but does it feel like it's getting better and better each night? Yes. <laughs> it's going to get great. It's super good and better. It's going to keep getting better. What's best about the tandem connection that you guys have? Um, Bam's not just some ordinary big, so I mean he can hurt you all over the place, whether it's him handling or him catching it off the roll or a lob. Literally the, the outcomes are, are endless with him as a big and it's, um, it makes it easier for me to, to make the right read. Um, I just got to continue to keep getting better and make sure I can continue to get that ball back in. The fact that you had the lead 21, then the lead went away, but you guys have shown lately a bunch of times the resilience, like Spo said in his, in his words after the game, to fight back through that. What have you guys developed, and maybe this through this uneven start to the season and some of those blown leads, to know there still is time? Um, I mean, it's a long season. You go through different things in a, in a season like this. Um, you know, you start slow. We were in a lot of games that we should have won. And the games we lost, we learned from it. And we just continue to get better every single day. Uh, just got to stay even keel and continue to get better. What was it like to have the starting lineup together again? To have the, the five guys together that, you know. It was, I mean, it was great. <laughs> but, I mean, we, we don't really pay attention to who's out there and who's not. We just got to play. You know, no matter what. At this point in the season, it's about getting wins with whoever's out there. Let's get ready for Hoop Jab.